Jeez, Jess, what the hell happened to you? Well, in order to better understand how this budget will affect unemployed people, I quit my job here at the Roast and set out to survive for six months before my new start payments begun. Yeah, right. And did you eat garbage while you filed that report? Oh, spoilers, Tom. Let's see what I discovered. I began my unemployment journey by visiting the home of my wealthy family, where my parents were able to help me during this six-month unemployment window before I qualified for dole payments. Thanks anyway for taking me in during the rough patch, Mama. It's, uh, it's really, I really appreciate it. I mean, I'm sure some employment will turn up soon. And this chicken, oh my God, looks incredible, doesn't it? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you and how did you get in here? <laughs> As my fellow diners threatened to call the police, I remembered that I wasn't part of a wealthy family who could look after me while I was unemployed. I then went and rejoined my middle-class family. But with cuts to pensions, my grandparents had also moved into my parents' house. So, you know, although it's going to be a difficult six months, I'm pretty sure we're all going to manage under one middle-class roof, eh? And under one blanket. <laughs> Actually, Grandad, could you move your feet over there? Absolutely freezing. Jesus. I'm sorry, who are you? And how did you get in here? I was just... <sighs> As my fellow bedmates evicted me with their frozen, knobbly feet, it dawned on me that this wasn't my family either. I come from a family who can't afford to support me for six months, so I went to the last place these changes to New Start have allowed me to get some support. The kindness of strangers. Oh, spare some change? No? Nothing? Spare some change, sir. Oh, come on, what have I got to do? A good place to start would be by getting a job. That's what I've been trying to do. Do you think I want to be here? As I ranted and raved at the man in the suit, I finally realised this was all my own fault for allowing myself to become unemployed in the first place. So I set my mind to solving that problem once and for all. Right, so you went and got a job? No, I stabbed the guy and stole his wallet. Well, maybe your starting point should have been having a job. Good night, everyone. Jazz, why are you looking at me with murderous rage? Is it because you feel guilty about being unemployed? Put that knife down, Twemlow. Hey! Oh, oh.